What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing Choice Specs Terrapagos. This is a pl way of playing Terrapagos that is totally different from the Calm Mind variant I played before, and it's so cool. Basically the idea of this team is take speed control because you have Tailwind Tornadus with max speed and taunt, and Fluttermane with booster energy in its speed, and Icy Wind, and then just go to town with Terra Star Storm. What really drew me to this Terrapagos is it also has Hyper Beam, which with Terra boosting at is incredibly powerful, but you're not really supposed to click that most of the time. You're supposed to click Terra Star Storm, whether you're in Terra or not. It also has Earth Power for a little bit of coverage and Sleep Talk, just in case you get put to sleep, you can do some stuff with that. Uh, it has one of its favorite partners, Amoongus, which can Pollen Puff it up, redirect stuff away from it. Uh, and it also has Chi Yu, because Chi Yu can boost the damage of Star Storm. There's also an Urshifu on this team, fills out the Firewater Grass Core, does some good physical damage, is very offensive with this Tornadus, who also has Rain Dance, could be a whole nother mode. This team has a few ways it can play, but I'm always gonna just go fast, hit hard with Terrapagos, if I'm being honest. <laughs> so anyways, let's jump into it. Alright, let's see what I can do against Sun with Terrapagos. That's actually a really bad matchup, because Koridon can hit Terrapagos uh, after the shell is broken super effectively. Uh, they also have some faster Pokemon and their own Tailwind. Let's see, with Fluttermane, I have Moonblast to threaten Koridon. I have very little else to threaten Koridon. But I also have Icy Wind with Fluttermane. So I think it might be, just be a Fluttermane Tornadus lead. Oh, especially because Tornadus has Rain Dance. That could mess them up a little bit. Just get a little bit of speed control, go in, and just start taking KOs with Terrapagos. And then, I guess I'm a little worried about Amoongus. So maybe I want Chi Yu, but like, I don't want another fighting weakness. I mean, Scarf Urshifu doesn't do too much for me, especially against Bolt. I think I want the Chi Yu. That'll also let Terrapagos do more damage. Yeah, so those are the four I want to bring. Uh, Amoongus could have been a viable bring here, I think. With Terra Water, uh, if I don't want to... Oh, that's a good card. I would have to, like, not Terra Terrapagos to get the maximum value out of my Amoongus, though. Tornadus and Fluttermane versus Tornadus and Fluttermane. That's fun. Alright, I got my booster energy speed. You've got not that, because you're on a sun team, so you might be specs. Alright, if I remember correctly, this is a max speed torn with taunt. It might be worth going for the taunt right away. I mean, we, we probably bait out the Terra Fairy on their Fluttermane here. Just having our own Fluttermane, threatening Shadow Ball. I'm willing to risk it. I'm willing to, willing to go for Taunt and Icy Wind here. I don't think they Shadow Ball our Fluttermane. I don't think so. As I predicted, they Terra Fairy. That's because they're afraid of getting Shadow Balled. And now let's see how this works out. We get the Taunt. As long as you're not Mental Herb, I'm really happy about that. Ha! Ah, yes! Blocking the Tailwind. And we get our Icy Wind. Now our Tornadus has to eat this. Now they're probably Cloak on Tornadus, so that Icy Wind won't affect that. Oh, and they just Shadow Ball. Oh, I'm so cool with that. I'm 100% okay with that. You crit me, but whatever. This gets in Terrapagos, and I get to set Tailwind now. Yeah, I like that a lot. You can't Tailwind, but I will Tailwind. Your Fluttermane pretty much has to swap, because it's going down. Um, what is this Terrapagos' speed stat? 136? Oh! I'm faster than the minus one Fluttermane anyway. Interesting. 
I could do a Chi Yu swap then. But no, I think I will just take the Tailwind here and just hit the Go button. Star Storm right away. Fluttermane being locked into Shadow Ball, Tornadus not being able to Tailwind. They're gonna swap Fluttermane. Are they also gonna swap Tornadus? That's interesting. But I love the free damage I'm getting. And if you swap into Koridon, I love that I turn off the- oh! They're giving me Fluttermane. That's interesting. Well, it's not, it's not a free giving me Fluttermane. Like, they don't know that I'm about to knock out Fluttermane for sure. I think Choice Specs Terra Star Storm does take out Fluttermane from here, but like, I guess there's always a chance it doesn't. And here we go. Awesome. Fluttermane is down. And Bolt took very little, so that's an Assault Vest Raging Bolt. Which might be the biggest threat remaining on their team. If I'm being honest. Oh, I think it's Assault Vest, so I'm not going to worry about taunting it. Here's a Koridon. I'm happy to soften that up with a Rain Dance. Uh, this could just be Tank the Hit, Collision Course, Thunderclap, Thunderbolt. I would think that I can take a Collision Course, maybe. No, no, because it got the super effective boost. That's a lot of bulk. Oh my goodness. It's not even invested in bulk. Terrapagos is crazy. <laughs> I kind of have to click Bleak Wind Storm. Yeah, I have to click Bleak Wind Storm because I can't let Koridon get the hit on Terrapagos. I'm just, I connect. Thank goodness. Connecting that was huge. Uh, speed drop on Bolt doesn't matter right now. Star Storm should probably be enough to finish off Koridon. I would think. Yes, it is. Koridon is gone. And Bolt is taking damage. I said Star Storm didn't do that much, but it's doing enough. Just an Electroweb. Who, who dodged that? Okay. Tornadus got hit. Tornadus doesn't take a speed drop. Terrapagos doesn't take a speed drop. We're golden. And now you've got your own Tornadus, which I can taunt. We've got two turns of Tailwind. I can make sure you never get Tailwind by taunting. Uh, I don't really want to Rain Dance because I might want to throw a Heat Wave later. I don't really care that Bolt is boosted here. I'm going to Taunt Torn, and I'm going to throw a Star Storm. And the battle's canceled. That's the power of Terrapagos. Let's go. Oh, this turtle is pretty fun. Good game. Okay, Billy, you've got a Terrapagos, but that looks like one of the more tanky Terrapagos teams. I definitely want my Tornadus to try to taunt something, especially because it's immune to Fake Out because of the cloak. Um, I guess you could redirect. Uh, that would be a little annoying. And then you're going to want to position your Urshifu. Oh, I'm going to want to position my Urshifu late game to take out your Terrapagos. Uh, so I know I'm bringing Torn, I know I'm bringing Terrapagos, I know I'm bringing Urshifu. I don't know if I want Terrapagos first, though. Because it is vulnerable to Fake Out. And there's no really way around that. I guess my way around that would be Fluttermane lead. Fluttermane isn't the worst. It doesn't feel like super strong, because I don't think I need much speed control. Don't think it's Amoongus. Amoongus, they have two grass types. I'm not gonna try that. It could be just Terrapagos turn one. With Urshifu and Chiyu. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. Like, why not? Chiyu actually seems pretty good in this matchup. Uh, other than, like, if that's a water Urshifu, but I think it's a dark Urshifu. I need to check the speed on this Chiyu, I guess, to know my Ch Urshifu matchup, but... Oh yeah, we're Timid Max. Oh! Oh, a shiny little Trico? That's cool. It's a good ball for it. 
Yeah, we're timid max speed, so we should be okay. Yeah, you got your instant and your Terrapagos. That's fine. And we both shift. Mine shifted first, so I guess that means I'm faster. And I think Terra shift is priority, so it doesn't mean anything compared to Incineroar. Yeah, so definitely a taunt into their Terrapagos. And then probably not Terra. Just click Starstorm for now. The question is who I want to click it into. Taunt Terrapagos and Starstorm. I want to hit Insin, because Parting Shot seems really annoying. So the sooner I can take out Insin, the better. They fake out. Oh, and it's at Torn. Awesome. Alright, we get the Taunt. Show me a Calm Mind over there, that would be ideal. Let's see how much Starstorm does. Ooh, that's a lot! You got a berry? You do got a berry, okay. You can take a spread Starstorm, I think. But a single Starstorm probably takes you. Can't Calm Mind after the Taunt, fantastic. I think now I want to Bleak Wind. Do they have a Ghost? They don't have a Ghost. I want a Bleak Wind just to try to break the shell. And Starstorm Incineroar again. A single target because it's stronger as a single target move. Once I Terra, technically it becomes a stellar move. So I don't like get the full boost that you normally would. Urshifu took a ton too, wow. And I was single I was going for the single target because I was scared of uh, missing the Bleak Wind. And then the spread Starstorm doesn't take Incineroar, and then I get Parting Shotted, and it's a whole thing. Or hit by Knockoff. That would be annoying too, because I would lose my Specs boost. Okay, Urshifu and Komfe. I think I'm happy to set Tailwind here and just throw a regular Starstorm at Urshifu, because they're gonna try to heal up their Urshifu. But I'm gonna get the jump on them, go first, and probably knock them out. Based on how much that Bleak Wind did, I don't think they're super bulky or anything. I mean, this Tornadus has like... Okay, they're healing. Tornadus only has four special attack EVs. So that seems like about the right damage, such that Starstorm single target takes them out. And if so... Oh, it's a Sucker Punch? Into Tornadus? Wow. It's not very often you see Sucker Punch go third. <laughs> but when you got a plus three priority move, and then a prankster Pokemon that's faster than you, and then you Sucker Punch, yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, that's incredible. Um. I could see a taunt coming out from Comfey. I could no, sorry. I want to taunt something, but I could see like Trick Room come out from Comfey and protect Terrapagos. So I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna Bleak Wind, and I'm gonna single target Star Storm to Comfey. Battle was just canceled. Terrapagos taking a dub without even going stellar. Let's go. This turtle's awesome. Okay, now we've got a Maridon matchup. Maridon, Whimsicott, they have their own speed control. More speed control than I have, honestly. Uh, they also have Blood Moon, uh, Farigarath, and Stone Ogre Pond, so they can get Trick Room if they want. And they have an Incineroar. Who doesn't? I don't. That's kind of weird. Uh, I'm, I'm in a hyper-aggressive team, though. Uh, their team's pretty aggressive, too. Maridon and Blood Moon can both do some huge damage. Okay. I want Terrapagos. Obviously. Do I want to lead it? Maybe. Just, I could turn off Electric Terrain, which would be big. Ooh. I'd be a little worried about, like, Fake Tears Whimsicott or something. I can't really taunt. Trick Room is a bad matchup, so I'm gonna need to bring a Moongus. Uh, I think it's Tornadus, Fluttermane, Terrapagos, Amoongus. I think that's what I have to do. If I see Stone Ogre Pond, I need to take that out. Um, if they're gonna go Trick Room, can't really stop them. 
but Fluttermane should be able to Icy Wind some stuff down and I'll get Tailwind up if they go the fast mode. Uh, one fear is that Whimsicott can be faster than Tornadus. It has a higher base speed. So if they have Taunt on their Whimsicott, they can shut that down entirely. And like... Wochian? Blech. <laughs> That's a good card though. It's a cool fit. Maridon and Incineroar the Early Riser. Okay, well you can't fake out. So I've got that going for me. I think I do want Tailwind up. I need Tailwind up. Okay, we confirmed your Maridon is fast. No, we don't. We did not confirm your Maridon's faster. Because booster energy goes after abilities. Okay. Tailwind? I don't think I really need to Icy Wind. Though it would help in the case that they also get a Tailwind up in this game. Though if you don't lead Whimsicott, do you bring Whimsicott? I don't really know. I'm gonna Tailwind and I'm gonna just Moonblast Maridon. I'm gonna force the Terra out of them. Like, I know they're gonna do it, but I wanna like, do some damage to this Maridon. Electric, I'm guessing? Yeah. I'm guessing a really big, like, Volt Switch knocks out one of my Pokemon. Oh, and Incineroar is just gonna Parting Shot back out into it, huh? That's your plan. Well, I'm glad I didn't go for Icy Wind if they're going for Volt Switch. Which they are. Into Fluttermane. That specs Terra Electric on Terrain. It's all the things. But that's cool, I got my speed control up. I don't really care if Tornadus loses some special attack to a parting shot. And then I can bring in Terrapagos. Oh, I guess you could get another fake out turn. Oh, they have Whimsicott. They do have Whimsicott. Alright, you can take speed control. Um, unless I get the taunt. Because now that I have Tailwind up, I'm faster right now. I could taunt you, block your speed control. Show me Maridon, show me Maridon, show me Maridon. Ogre Pun? Hmm, fine. <sighs> Amoongus is feeling like a bad call now. Yeah, it's gotta be Terrapagos. But I don't have to get rid of the terrain right this second. I'm gonna throw a taunt at Whimsicott, prevent you from getting your speed control up. And I'm gonna Star Storm? I think I should break the Sturdy on Ogre Pond. I get that it's not very effective, but that's the move I want to be locked into. Because that's the move that will change when I Terra. And I do plan to Terra. Whimsicott gets hit by Taunt, take his Tailwind, awesome. Let's see how much this half effective Star Storm does. About a third, that's pretty good. Ivy Cudgel. Okay, they're breaking my Terra Shell. But they're kind of in trouble now. As long as I can hit some Bleak Wind Storms, Terra Star Storm is gonna rip through. Yeah, I like this position. Whimsicott swaps probably into Incineroar. Yeah. You'll get your fake out turn. And I'm gonna give you terrain back is the is one problem, but like I need to Terra here. Cause I'll get rid of the terrain now, but then when your Maridon comes back in, you'll have it again. Still, I think this is the play. You gotta see how much this combo does to Incineroar. And are you gonna spiky shield this turn? I kinda hope you do. Yeah, you do spiky shield. Yeah, because I'd rather the Ogre Pond be in here than like... Oh, that does not do any damage. 
Yeah, Terrapagos is gonna eat a fake out. Probably a fake out and then taking out my Clonatus if I- Whoa! Incinero, are you alright, bud? <laughs> it did a lot of damage. Um, I think the combo would take Incineroar, but... I also kind of want to go to Amoongus. Get some Rage Powdering later. Because I feel like... Tailwind's about to end. They want to take me out this turn. I can't allow that. And I can't protect. So yeah, I need to go to Amoongus. And all I can click in that case is Star Storm. They can fake me out. They should know I'm not Cloak on Terrapagos. So they should know that they can fake that out this turn. And they do. And they crit! Come on, man! Ivy Cudgel is just into Amoongus and doesn't do half. That's excellent. I... I do not think Star Storm takes Incineroar here. Which is why I'm thinking of protecting Amoongus and clicking Star Storm. Ogre Pond would go first. I can't redirect that. Could maybe get in Torn here. But I think Protect Star Storm is my play. It's possible that I should have swapped... It, it really depends, because I can't bring Tornadus in on an Ivy Cudgel, and I don't know where the Ivy Cudgel's going. It's going to the Oh, Go, a crit! Okay, that might be a problem. That might be a little bit of a problem. Yeah, Insin does hang on. I was right about that. But Ogre Pond is gone. And did you attack Amoongus? Yes. That's good. That's really good. Now, if you bring in Mur- Oh, you bring in Whimsicott. Yeah, there's no way. I don't think there's a way around the Whimsicott. Because I want to- I needed to Pollen Puff this. If they Moonblast- I think they've got me pinned, because they Moonblast Terrapagos, Flare Blitz, and then... What do I do? I can swap one and lose the other. But which combination of two wins me this game? I guess it's... if I can keep Tornadus and Terrapagos, because that way I could Tailwind and force them to either match Tailwind or attack and go second. They just Tailwinded? Okay, I get it. They knock out their own Incineroar, meaning this Spore does nothing. Hmm. My play there then was... No, because if I redirect the Flare Blitz, I don't have... Yeah, Tropagos is slower. Is there any way around this? <laughs> what is the cot just not moon blasting into my Terrapagos for some reason? Uh, them not targeting Tornadus this turn for some reason? Yeah, that, my only win condition is they double into Amoongus, don't get the KO, and then Pollen Puff heals up Terrapagos. That's my only win condition at this point. They, they've got me thoroughly pinned. 
And this Electro Drift is into... Amoongus! Can Amoongus eat this? No. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, Whimsicott's gonna take out the Terrapagos and it's game over. We did get some Rocky Helmet Chip though. Alright, knowing that, what could I have done about it? Absolutely nothing. Oh, and a crit too. Yeah, there's nothing I could have done about that. Maridon was just too strong. Uh, I took speed control at first, but I didn't keep it long enough, and they got me. Good game. That, that was well played. That was definitely well played by them. And there's absolutely nothing I can do here. <laughs> so I am going to forfeit. Good game. Let's get another one in. Okay, uh, it's a Calyrex Shadow Rider. Fun! Terrapagos has a good matchup there. Uh, but it has a bad matchup against... Chiyu if it has Snarl. Uh, Insin has Fake Out Parting Shot. What do I have that can beat both of those? <laughs> oh, no, but they have Water Ogre, Pond, and Tornadus. Okay. I think it's Torn, Fluttermane, Terrapagos. Seems really strong. And then finally, maybe it is Urshifu. Am I max speed adamant? Yeah, I'm faster than the uh, horse. So that's pretty good. I kind of like that. Um, Amoongus isn't that bad, but like... The two fire types are the things I'm, are the things I'm most afraid of. And so Amoongus doesn't do well into two fire types. Urshifu and Amoongus both do poorly into Water Pond, but honestly, Chiyu doesn't do well into Water Pond either, so it's fine. Yeah, those are the four I'm gonna lock in. Uh, I think Chiyu is perfectly valid here, too. Have another thing that resists Calyrex, boost my special attack. But I'm less worried about the Calyrex, honestly. I'm more worried about the other stuff. Unless Calyrex, like, Nasty Plots turn one, I'm not too worried. Good shot. I like that character. Not enough to remember her name off the top of my head, apparently, but good character. Okay, Torn and Calyrex. Hope Cali doesn't Rex me. I could hard swap right into my turtle this turn. I would need to deny their Tailwind, if I'm doing that. Deny their Tailwind, get into my Turtle, set my own Tailwind, and then start going crazy. That's my plan. Uh, I could see that plan going poorly, but it is my plan. It, it's possible it's a nasty plot, but would you do that right in front of Fluttermane? Oh, and I baited the Terra, yes! That's so good. Baiting the Terra with Fluttermane is huge, because now, Starstorm can knock you out. Terra normal. I could see this being a nasty plot, maybe. You get the Taunt first. Let's wait for a Mental Herb. We don't have it. We block the Tailwind. And they do just throw Barrage. Excellent. As long as Torn eats this, we're, we're golden. And I think we do. We're pretty bulky. Yeah, we eat. Excellent. We can set Tailwind, and we can go straight into Starstorm. Love it. Good luck! <laughs> oh, this turtle is so good when you're positioned correctly. Uh, I mean, it's not over. I mean, I haven't taken a single KO. Yeah, they're gonna swap. They're gonna do some damage with Torn. <laughs> Who is this? Is this Chiyu? Oh, it's Fluttermane. Fluttermane. Right. I can read some of those names. I don't know what they mean, but, uh, but I know what Pokemon is behind them. Yeah, hitting Fluttermane will be good. We might do over half. I think we do over half to most Fluttermane. And should be over half onto Tornadus, too. Uh, my, the biggest problem would be Bleak Windstorm Speed Drop on Terrapagos. And the hard swap suggests 
Was that specs, maybe? Excellent damage. Yeah, just don't speed drop my turtle and we're golden. And even if you do, I have Fluttermane with Icy Wind. So actually, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Yeah, all right. I guess it should be Fluttermane. I, they could still have Water Pond in the back. We will just Star Storm and... Nothing that comes in wants to take a Moon Blast. Um, I'm wondering who I sh which slot I need to Moon Blast. I think I'm going this way because Fluttermane could th in theory protect, Tornadoes cannot. And if they protect and swap, then I want to double into that slot. Yeah, they are swapping the Tornadoes, so I doubled the right slot. I don't think it matters. Huh? I guess it does. It was Water Pond. Yeah, they did exactly that. Okay, I'm glad I thought that through rather than just clicking buttons. They're not going to last through the both of these hits. Ooh, that does so much. Alright, they will be able to take speed control back from me. Because they can, they can Tailwind. And all of their remaining Pokémon are faster than Terrapico. But not all their Pokémon are faster than Fluttermane. Uh, if I still have my booster energy. Yeah, they go into Tornadus. They can take speed control. I'll take both of you out, though. I have two whole turns of Tailwind. I think I just protect my Fluttermane. Do I not protect? I'd rather Fluttermane dies here, honestly. If they're willing to take it. I want to get Urshifu in. Yeah, I want to get in Urshifu and Starstorm. This is risky if they Moonblast that slot for some reason. I don't think that's what they would do. I think they're going to Tailwind and target down my Terrapagos. They might only have Dazzling Gleam. That would be annoying. They did Dazzling Gleam. We don't eat Dazzling Gleam. That is slightly problematic. But then I would have been on the field with Fluttermane. Um, I sure hope that wasn't a big mistake. <laughs> because they can either Astral Barrage or like Psy Shock. I think they might even be Specs. Because they weren't Life Orb. The Fluttermane wasn't Specs. They could be choice specs, in which case they have to pick a move. It's our last turn of Tailwind, but they have multiple turns of Tailwind. They Psy Shock and take out the Turtle. I Icy Wind, they're at minus one. They have two turns of Tailwind, I Protect, they have one turn of Tailwind. I would need a double Protect. I think they can win this. I think they do win this. Calyrex just protected. That confirms they're not specs. Which means they have to pick who they hit. But that might be fine with them. Hmm. They'd much rather hit my turtle. That's a guarantee. They would much rather hit my turtle. I think they're going to hit the turtle, so I need to Moon Blast. But without Specs, I don't think you can take out the turtle. So I think we can win this. Oh, they do go for Astral Barrage. I, I read that wrong. I should have protected Fluttermane this turn, then. So Fluttermane will go down. And then, with that play, you must be Focus Sash. So then you have to take me out at plus one, and I think you do. 
You must be Sash. Show me you're not Sash. I would love that you're not Sash. You are Sash. Yeah, now that you got the plus one off Fluttermane. Ugh. That should be enough to KO me. Depending on what your move is. I, ha I have nothing I can do other than click Star Storm, of course. Oh, it's just Expanding Force. That's probably the weakest option. It still takes it, though. Good game. Ah, oh, such a close one. Literally on one HP on your last mon. And I could have just protected Fluttermane to take that win. Oh, man. Good game. That was well played. GG's. Alright, we're back. I had a blast blasting some Terra Star Storms across the way. Uh, I didn't win all of them. I mean, this isn't really exactly my style of team. But Terrapagos just works. I was a little worried that just coming in and clicking one move all the time wouldn't be that effective. But it's actually really effective. I feel like if you play a team like this and you get good with it, it's going to be really hard to stop. Unless you have Wide Guard, which I did not encounter, luckily. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed as well. There's the rental code for you in the top corner. You should try out this team too. It's really strong on ladder. And I'm Jordy. And uh, alright. Peace.